Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download R5 Reloaded for Parallels on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you didn't already know, Apex Legends can't run on Parallels or on Crossover for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. However, there is a distributed version of the Apex Legends client, which has been modified so that it can run without triggering the anti-cheat software. So this version of Apex Legends won't be able to be played on the official servers. However, there is a budding modded community which has been built around this version, which is called the R5 Reloaded version. So this version of Apex Legends isn't officially sanctioned in any way at all, and it's very likely to be taken down at some point in the future. So just be aware of this. This is not a legitimate version of the game. However, it is a version that is playable on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. The first thing that we need to do is to check out the R5 Reloaded Discord server. If any of the install instructions change, this is going to be the first place where it's going to be announced. So the very first thing that we need to do is to download a copy of the Season 3 Apex Legends so that we can actually modify it so that R5 Reloaded runs on it. So what we need to do is to follow the link in the instructions section of the Discord server here. So this is for this particular paste bin, and this paste bin contains some information about what torrent file to acquire so that you can download the game. So in order to download it, we need a torrent client. So the torrent software I'm going to be using is called Qubit Torrent. I'm going to leave a link in the description for my video tutorial, which is going to show you how to install Qubit Torrent on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. But basically, what we're going to do is to copy the magnet torrent file and then paste it into qubit torrent. So if I go to the qubit torrent and I've copied the magnet link here, so I'm going to go to qubit torrent and add a torrent link. And then it's taken it from my clipboard already, or I can just paste this in manually if it's got something different here. Then I'm going to click download. Then it's asking us where the file is going to be located. I'm just going to put it in my downloads folder here once it's completely found the file. So this is what it looks like, 41 gigabytes in size. You'll need 41 gigabytes of space on an internal solid state drive or an external one too. So all I'm basically gonna do is press okay. And then I'm gonna wait for this to finish downloading. So this is going to be 41 gigabytes in size. So make sure you have a fast enough internet connection to grab the entire file. It might take you some time depending on the speed of your internet connection. So once that file is downloaded, I've basically put it on my external solid state drive here. So it's accessible from the Mac operating system and also the Parallels file system too. So if you haven't downloaded Windows 11 ARM through Parallels for your M1 Apple Silicon Mac, I want to leave a link in the description for my full tutorial video. What you can do is to make use of the 14 day free trial. And if you click the link in the description and make a purchase, then I'll receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and also the work that I do. So once you have Windows 11 installed, I'm going to just open up this in Parallels. So once you have Windows 11 installed, I'm just going to click to open the Windows 11 desktop via Parallels. If I go into File Explorer and scroll down, I have my More One solid state drive mounted on the Windows file system here, and I've put it under Other here. And this is the R5 reloaded torrent file that we've downloaded. So this R5 allows us to actually launch the Apex Legends client. However, we need to do a little bit more work in order to make this a playable game. So the next thing that we should do is to install the Origin client. So Origin is required in order to run R5 reloaded. What is recommended that you do is that you create a separate Origin account and then you associate this with Apex Legends and add it to your library. So this is because you don't necessarily want your main Origin account or EA account associated with this version because it's possible that EA might ban your account if you make use of R5 Reloaded and you don't necessarily want to affect your main account if you have a lot of progress stored on that. So basically you need to have Origin installed and your dummy account logged in. So once Origin is installed and logged in, then we need to make use of these two GitHub links here. So I'll leave a link to these in the description description of the video. And what we basically need to do is have them open. We can do this on the Mac side or on the Windows side. It doesn't really matter. I'm just doing it on the Windows side here for ease of use. So the first link here is the DTools underscore R5. So what we want to do is to scroll down on the releases section and then click on the latest version. So this particular one at the time of recording is the 1.6 beta. So once that's downloaded, I'm going to open up this file. And basically what we want to do is to select all the files, control or right click and copy on them. Then we're going to navigate to our R5 reloaded folder. So we're going to right click on this blank area, go to show more options, and then I'm going to paste here. Then I'm going to replace any files that are already there. And the next thing I'm going to do is install the scripts file. So click on the code section here and then download zip. Once that's downloaded, I'm going to click on the file itself. Double click on scripts here. Then I'm going to press Control A to select all the files. Right click, press copy. Then I'll navigate back to the R5 reloaded folder. 
And then what we need to do is to double click on platform. And then within this platform folder, we need to right click on the blank space, click new, click folder. And then we're gonna type in the word scripts, press enter, and then double click on this. Then we're gonna right click on the blank space, go to show more options, and then press paste. So once you have all of the files ready and you're logged into your origin on your dummy account, what you can go ahead and do is double click on r5reloaded.exe and then load the game. So at this stage, it's gonna ask you whether you want to enter the dev build or the release build. I do recommend the dev build as there are several more options. So you can just type in the number one and press enter and then the game is going to load. So once the game does load, you'll notice that it's trying to automatically connect to the EA servers. So this is why you don't necessarily want your main account because this is not a legitimate way to play the free play game. So at this stage, what we can do is to press the F10 key. So if you're on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac default keyboard, then you have to hold down the function key and then press the F10 key, and then you'll be bringing up this menu here. So this allows you to browse for servers. So at this stage, the actual gameplay for this game is not really viable for actual online multiplayer. So I don't really recommend it. This is more of a kind of experimentation. And uh, if anyone does get this running on a 16 gigabyte version of the M1 chip and can allocate eight gigabytes of RAM to the game, then they're gonna have a much better experience. Let me know if the multiplayer does work for you. Obviously, this is not gonna be the main multiplayer for the game. This is not going to be the official EA uh, online game with all the cost cosmetics, etc., and all of the seasons. This is going to be only private servers. So this is just going to be something which you'll be using to experiment with and then also play some casual games here. So the main thing that we're going to do at this stage is to host a server. So what you can do is type a server name here and then you can enter a playlist here. So what I tend to do is to use the survival one and then use the firing range here. So the playlist loads up the kind of rules for the map and then this is the actual map itself. So some of these are a bit more buggy than others. This is a completely a hobbyist kind of code. So don't expect too much out of this. All we need to do now is just press start server and then we'll be able to load into a game. So once you've loaded into a level, you can press F10 to close the menu again and then you can play around with the game a little bit. So at this stage, some of the settings don't really work correctly. So for example, if we go here and click change legend, then this is not actually working. What you can do is when you press escape, you can go into the dev menu, and then you've got a whole load of other options here. For example, change character. I can change from Mirage to say lifeline. Within the firing range, the frame rate's running about 30, 40 frames per second, and it's all online. However, the only reason that this isn't working on Parallels in the first place is because of the anti-cheat software detecting that we're running on a virtual machine on an ARM chip. Once you remove that DRM, once you remove that anti-cheat, then you can see this game is actually possible to function on that M1 Apple Silicon Mac Windows 11 ARM via Parallels platform. It's a real shame that uh, EA and Respawn haven't been able to allow us to actually play this officially, but you can see that on a technical level, the actual game itself functions fine. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful and fun. If you did test this out on a 16 gigabyte M1 chip, please leave a comment. If you made use of this tutorial, please leave a comment and a like, and I'll see you in the next video.